guys welcome back to another video so i'll be reflecting on my first week of digital learning and i will show you some updates i made to my google classroom so let's get right into the video so we launched our digital learning on monday march the 30th and i was so excited and I'm just thinking I'm gonna have all these kids. But then I thought about, well, I don't think many has gotten their Chromebooks because that was the same day that elementary was gonna go pick up their Chromebooks. So I only had one student active on Google Classroom and I had about three students active on Mentoring Minds. And I had the whole day of me just kind of talking to the parents, walking them through it and telling them that I made how-to videos on my Google Classroom for them to watch. So I didn't have to be on the phone with them like a thousand years. Yeah, so that's how Monday went. It really wasn't much. I was just waiting to see if I was going to see any kids during the office hours and I only had one kid. The second day, which was Tuesday, I had the same student to join Google Hangout during my office hours. And she started showing me everything. She started showing me her, her dog her brother her awards that she's gotten in first grade and kindergarten kindergarten and first grade and i had to let her know that the office hours are only for questions and i wanted to wait for her to you know show me on friday because we had our lunch on friday i had a growth in mentor mind on tuesday but and I had like one student join on Tuesday and that day was our tasty Tuesday and I just thought it was so funny that one of my students put like what is your favorite food and she puts taco Tuesday ha 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 like what and I noticed by Tuesday that the students were answering but they weren't responding to each other so like I sent this the parents a remind to just you know just the students can speak to each other and i had a great level meeting and we talked about like more things there because a lot of things are still changing because it was only our first week then on wednesday we had a bishop faculty meeting and it was great we had one of my dearest teacher friends put her name is carol bassett in as her name on our zoom and i will show a picture now um, because we all decided to dress up during our faculty meeting. I have really enjoyed bonding and, and getting to know other teachers better than what I did before. I mean, like some of the teachers that I talk to now, like we talked a little bit, but we never really talked a lot. I'm grateful for them because we're getting through this together. And then on Thursday, I had my first live read aloud. So my first live read aloud went great. Now, I know in my other video that I, would, I said I was going to read No One Likes a Fart. But I decided to change it like the day before because I didn't know how many students were going to join. And I really wanted the whole class to enjoy that book. But then I came across this book. I broke my butt and oh my gosh this book is so hilarious and the kids loved it so much but this Friday I will be reading No One Likes a Fart. I think um, I'll have more students that have their Chromebook um, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. After the live read aloud I'm going to post a picture here and I can't show student faces but that's how Google Meet looked like while I was on there with them and after the live read aloud ended like I literally cried because I really really miss the students and I honestly wish that this was over so I just really hope that God, that God rains a mirror on this situation so we can go back to school and see the students. I wanted to mention that you know at this time um, I would say all of my students had their Chromebooks except for about two or three, but only about five or six kids joined the live read aloud. For the live read aloud, I think what I'm going to start doing is having them mute themselves because I had all, I didn't tell them to mute themselves. So I could hear them laughing or I could hear their brother crying or, you know, I could hear different stuff like that. And I was just like, I can't even hear my own stuff read. That's what I'm going to do for 
next week when I have my next read aloud. On Friday was the big day that I had been waiting for because I was like, I'm gonna see most of them. And I did see most of them for our homeroom hangout and lunch. And it went great. I don't know if you guys watch my um, vlog, but my students hate when I eat Wingstop because like they want me to be healthy. I like bought Wingstop and I pulled the prank on them. I'm going to insert the video now. Y'all are going to be so excited. I'm moving to third grade. gonna get that type of response honestly I really didn't it was it felt really good to know that they would want me as a teacher next year but I am staying in the second grade so that was what I did on Friday and then after that we had our live kahoot went re which went really well now listen let me tell you this I don't think I thought this through even when I was doing my video um about a glance into my google classroom I was like, okay, they're gonna be able to see the questions. No, dirt to dirt, they're not gonna be able to see see the questions because they're only gonna see like the colors. So I was like, oh my god! At the last minute, so my game started at two thirty, and I realized it's at one fifty, and I was like, oh my god, I have to change it. What am I gonna do? Like I was scrambling in the house, like what am I gonna do? Like freaking out. I just said, calm down because I'll just change it to quizzes. And on quizzes, you can just like go in and use other people's questions. So I was like, yes. And I let them do a fun quizzes just for the simple fact that, you know, it was our first week. And everybody that joined, they did do 80%, as I said, because if they did not do 80%, I, they were going to get kicked out. So people that that had joined did 80 percent. that went really well some of my other teacher friends were telling me that kahoot is giving a giving teachers like free pre premium i can send the students the kahoot challenge and they'll be able to see the questions from there i'm going to take time out to show you guys what i changed in my google classroom hey all you cool cats and kittens no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys. So, um, I'm just going to show you a couple updates that I made to my Google Classroom. This is basically the main screen. As you've seen in my last video, I did discuss, like, different things that I'm going to, that I put in place. But I will kind of discuss a little bit of the new things that I've added to my Google Classroom. So, as you see here, these are my normal, like, whiteboard messages. And, you know, the students have a lot of fun with those. At first, they weren't responding to each other. But, like, after Wednesday, Thursday, like, I kind of told them to because, you know, they were not responding to each other. So, here, I just have a reminder that their Unit 1 and 2 Assignments and Mentor Minds is due. And then, here, I have a Happy Monday post. So basically, I'm talking about um, my announcements and reminding them to complete Mentor Minds and um, also talking about my chapter book um, read aloud that I am doing. And here, this is a very, very new addition. One of my parents sent me um, a bunch of different scavenger hunts. She told me that I should put in my classroom. So I told her that I would definitely implement it because I thought it was awesome. And then like a few days later, I seen it on Facebook. I just put, I will be posting a scavenger hunt for you guys to complete for fun every week. So this is not mandatory. This is just, you know, for the students to have fun. So I just put comment below, two, two. I'm finished when you have completed the um, scavenger hunt. And also, I'm allowing them to post photos as well. So this is a scavenger hunt we're going to do this week. So it's basically an indoor scavenger hunt. And, you know, they would just have to find these different things in their house. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and move into my um, things that I've added into my classwork. As you can see, I've 
added, you know, unit to um, Mentor Minds Resources because we push out new units every week. And um, I also added chapter two of me reading Toothless Wonder. But my newest addition is the Google Me Expectations. So this is what I made. I seen this on Facebook and I just thought I would make it into my own. So um, I put Google Me Expectations and I put technology. So mute your microphone when you join and I will tell you when, you know, you need to unmute yourself and making sure that um, the camera is on so everyone can see you. Then I put behavior. I put find a quiet spot, pay attention to the person speaking, and be on time for the meetings. I saw that others had don't put your brothers and sisters and all of that into the camera. Me personally, I don't mind because it's not like I'm teaching from Google Meet. It's more of a hangout for us so I just wanted to put these expectations in because I do want to hear everybody but I don't want to hear everybody at the same time so looking into the announcements something I changed about the announcements I changed um the date of the read aloud and I changed my office hours so I'm going to do Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday only two times a day and then this week I will be fixing the coop everything is still in place with that so that's basically all I've changed. And then here's my calendar of what it looks like. I did put in, you know, that their assignments are due on the 10th. It's not necessarily due at 2 p.m. I just wanted to make it to where they would see that in, in their calendar. Um, yes, yeah, so this is all I have. This is all I've changed in my classroom. So guys, those were my updates for my Google Classroom. Like I said, this was a, a good week and I'm so interested to see how next week will happen as far as, you know, the scavenger hunt and like different conversations I will have with my students. I hope this video was, um, was helpful as far as my update to my Google Classroom, but I will be linking down below a glance into my Google Classroom if you still need help setting up your Google Classroom or you just need different ideas. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please comment down below any videos that you would like for me to do in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys.